Tonight, Space Shuttle Endeavour is set to blast off from the Kennedy Space Center for the final time in less than 10 hours. This is a live look from there. Tonight, NASA is making final preparations for the launch. Our Jeff Butera joins us now, and Jeff, this should be in an emotional flight. Uh, absolutely, Serena, and not just because it's the last time Endeavour will fly, but also because of who will be flying it and who will be watching it. An era ends this July. The space shuttle was like the first great space pickup truck, and it always will be. It's just an amazing vehicle. A vehicle NASA will no longer use after Atlantis makes its last voyage in July. And liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour. But Monday's scheduled launch of Endeavour will be its final journey after 25 flights. And the story it will take with it into space is a remarkable one. I wanted to speak on behalf of my constituents. Five months after she was shot in the head and nearly died, Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords will attend the launch. She'll watch, along with an expected crowd of a half million people, as her husband, Mark Kelly, the commander of the mission, takes Endeavour into space. She's been working really hard to make sure that her doctors would permit her to come. It seems, you know, that it, she understands everything. I mean, it's not everything, almost everything. So she's really there. I mean, she follows direction. She laughs at jokes, recognizes friends. And this will actually be the Congresswoman's second trip to Florida from Houston, where she's undergoing rehabilitation. She came two weeks ago, but NASA scrubbed that mission because of a mechanical problem. Weather is always a concern, too. A 70% chance, though, that they should be fine for tomorrow morning's launch. Serena? All right, thank you, Jeff, so much. Liftoff is scheduled for tomorrow morning at 8.56 a.m. Our Brendan McLaughlin is headed to the Cape. Look for his live reports beginning at 5 a.m. on ABC Action News. And, of course, we'll have the launch for you live on ABC Action News and abcactionnews.com.